question. It's a very simple question. Diba? Please explain the specific spending on those items that she enumerated, amounting to a total of Honorable friends, do you want to add a total of seventy three point two hundred eighty seven million? So, dahil may notice of disallowance, so ibig sabihin, Madam Chair, illegal ito at in in not in not in accordance with our with the joint circular by the COA, the DM, and other related agencies. So, kung ito ay disallow, so ibig sabihin illegal yung paggamit nito, ah, Madam Chair. Itong mga items na binanggit ko po, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, you Madam cannot Vice allow, Chair. you cannot allow a member of the House to just claim that it is illegal. That is a notice of disallowance. Disallowance. That is a procedure inside the Commission on Audit. Hindi sa upuan niya. Honorable friends. Okay. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So, thank you for the explanation, um, Mr. President. Okay, next. According to accomplishment report of OVP, it spent 10 million for payment of reward. So, Madam Madam Chair, in 11 days, ilang tao kaya at magkano kada tao ang reward? In fact, COA disallowed the whole amount spent by OVP for payment of reward. Hindi ba, Madam Chair, questionable ito? Madam Chair, the invitation letter that we received from the House of Representatives. Dear Vice President Duterte, the House Committee on Appropriations will hold briefing hearings on the budget proposals of various departments, agencies, and corporations relative to the fiscal year 2025 national expenditure program as the basis of the fiscal year 2025 general appropriations bill. Saan? Sa presentation ko kanina, ang haba. Ang confidential funds. Honorable Brands Castro. Can we request our technical people to fix the mic? Everybody check their mics and make sure that they're switched off. Para maka switch on and see friends. Madam Chair, point of order lang ulit, Madam Chair. Kasi kailangan lang natin ma-establish. Uh, I would assume hindi naman po uh, pinanganak kahapon ng ating resource person. Practice po natin sa house. Madam Chair, that is a nice remark. Na para po tayo ay makapagtalakay ng budget na pinopropose uh, para sa susunod na fiscal year. Chine-check natin paano din gumagastos yung mga ahensya even in the current year and in the past year. Also, Madam Chair, Section 162, Rulings as Presidents, Rulings on questions raised by members shall form part of the parliamentary practice of the House. At practice po natin since time immemorial na hindi lang po ang proposed budget yung tinatalakay. Kasi yung performance ay dapat bahagi din ng discussion. Yun lang, Madam Chair. Noted. Honorable friends, could you kindly check if your mind works? Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So, 
Uh, so yun po, no, yung sinasabi natin kanina, yung payment ng reward, um, the, the resource person can answer this, questionable, uh, que uh, tingin ko ay questionable ito. Okay? So, next, according to the accomplishment report, isa sa pinaggamitan ng OPP, ng confidential funds, ay yung provision of medical and food aid. This is not allowed under the Joint Circular number 2015-01 dahil kailan pa naging confidential fund ang pagbibigay ng ayuda. Or kung ito naman ay ginamit sa mga, um, mga ginamit na tao or informant in 11 days, so paano kaya ginamit itong 40 million na ito no, para sa medical and food aid in 11 days, uh, Madam Chair? So... So yun yung tanong ko, kung dito ginamit doon sa kon, uh, sa sa mga AIDS, uh, medical aid or food aid, pero paano kaya Madam Chair ginamit itong 40 million na ito as a medical and food aid ng ilang tao in 11 days? So yun po yung tanong natin, uh, Madam Chair. Madam Vice President. Madam Chair, the subject of this hearing is the BP 2025 budget proposal. We do not have an item of confidential funds in the OBP budget proposal. So, may I continue, Madam Chair? Isa sa bumukukul na confidential fund ng OBP noong 2022 ay nasabi ko na, Madam Chair, yung medical and food aid at saka yung mga purchase of supplies. According to the accomplishment report, the OPP spent 40 million now for medical and food aid in 11 days. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, Madam Chair, um, konting math, tumapatak na 3.64 million kada araw ang gastos no, para sa food and medical aid. So, hindi natin maintindihan, ma Madam Chair, paano ito ginastos uh, in 11 days. No? It's 3.64 million kada araw dito sa um, item na ito. Madam Vice President. comment? Madam Vice President. I did not call you, Ma. It was Representative Arroy who called you. We, the chair, would like to remind both the resource persons and the members to please wait to be acknowledged before you speak. Yes, ma'am. So, you mean, yes. Oh, yes. To, to respond. So, any comment, uh, Madam Chair, dun sa sinabi natin, uh, based on sa, sa accomplishment report, uh, so, kung gagamitan natin ng konting ma, 3.64 million kada araw ang gases para sa medical and food for 11 days. For how many people ba itong ito? Madam Chair, the topic and the invitation of the House of Representatives to the Office of the Vice President for this hearing is a 2025 budget proposal. There is no confidential funds in the 2025 budget proposal. For, for the information of the body, the letter that we sent, our Madam Vice President, reads as follows. Um, in the second paragraph, um, we noted the following topics to be discussed. Um, item number three is comparative budget allocation and utilization rate from fiscal year 2019 to 2023. That's item number three. So I can provide you copies of the letter. So clearly, confidential funds spent in 2022 falls squarely within that. So yes, Honorable Francie will proceed. Yes, uh, Madam Chair. So, mukhang hindi na tayo sasagutin ng, ano no, hindi na, tayo, hindi na ako sasagutin ng ating Vice President. So, sa bawat sagot kasi na ganyan ng ating Vice President, uh, for the record, since ayaw magpaliwanag ang BP, so, hindi sabihin nito yung paggastos ng 125 million ay na, na, na pera ng taong bayan ay hindi maipaliwanag. So, yun lang, Madam Chair. Kaya, hinihiling natin sa 
Vice President o OVP na kailangan na, kailangan na maipaliwanag itong mga uh, tinasabing item dito. Anyway, Madam Chair, sa kanila naman ang galing no, yung uh, Utilization of Confidential and Intelligence Fund. And of course, ito lang naman ang hawak ko din dito, yung Notice of Disallowance. Kaya gusto talaga nating maintindihan, Madam Chair, kung ang Notice of Disallowance ay, so siyempre, papaliwanag pa nila yan, kung paano, di ba? So, kailangan malaman din ng taong bayan na sila yung nag, ano, no, nag, nagbibigay ng pondo para sa operations ng OVP at lahat ng mga agency. At kailangan yung may paliwanag. So, hindi pwede yung ganyan na... Um, uh, um, yung tactics na ganyan, na parang, ano no, parang sorry for the pusit, na kapag nasusukol na ang pusit, ay nagaano ng uh, may team na tinta. So, ayaw natin ng ganun, Madam Chair, kasi yung atin namang pinag-uusapan dito ay budget. No? So, huwag naman mag-ugaling mag, mag, ano, mag pusit ang Office of the Vice President. Madam Chair, may I, uh, may I point of information only, Madam Chair? May I? Uh, but I'm chair. Uh, no, sorry. Um, wait. Um, before before you uh, I'd like to before we proceed to the next uh, person on the list, I believe that our former president uh, Gloria Macapagal-Arroyo would like to interject. Observation made um, in relation to the point of order because in the beginning uh, it was settled that the issue would be the 2025 budget. And in all our hearings, to what I recall, uh, when we want to question something about performance, we question the 2024 budget, not the 2023 budget. What is being questioned now is the 2023 budget, which was discussed very uh, extensively last year. And that is the reason why the House removed the confidential funds. So that issue has already been, to my mind, for purpose of the budget hearing, late to rest. So that's my observation, Madam Chair. We, we know that, uh, um, Madam Former President, but uh, of course we know that um, yung pong pondo ng 2023 ay, uh, of course, pwede pa rin maging continuing uh, appropriation hanggang 2024. So in the same way, 2022 pwede maging continuing pa rin 2023. At alam din po natin, um, last year, pinagdipatihan po natin ng matinde itong 2022 confidential funds. And in fact, um, we left a homework for the COA. Sinabi natin sa kanila na kailangan nilang tapusin ang uh, audit by November, I believe mid-November of last year. And since then, hindi na natin alam kung ano nangyari. So that's the reason for why um, pinatalakay natin ito. And uh, it's a big amount of money. I believe uh, we owe it to the people to understand uh, what happened. Of course, tinanggal na natin ng 2024. Gusto natin malaman, tama pa yung ginawa natin? Kasi baka naman nagkamali tayo. So, I, I think it's worth assessing um, what we did in 2024 in order to know what to do in 2025. Um, so, with that, I, let's proceed with our next uh, Madam interview. May I? May I? Is, is this um, just a uh, point of order? Not a point of order, but um, uh, we will only, guess, uh, we will, um, you, you may wish to be, be join the robot. Um, you may wish to be, um, unless it's a point of order, you may wish to be listed. I can put you here, sir. Uh, parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair. Yes, you parliamentary may. Parliamentary inquiry. Uh, may I ask if uh, the resource person is required to answer a question that is related to a commission on audit uh, notice of disallowance when she already said she's not going to answer. Also, the notice of disallowance is addressed to the office of the vice president. And just to make it clear, a notice of disallowance is not a judgment. It is a request. It is an order from the commission on audit for the particular office to explain what are the particulars. At saka hindi na yan legislation side that is already on the accountability side in the budget cycle so my parliamentary inquiry madam chair is that nagsabi na nga siya na hindi siya sasagot and it is related to the COA a notice of disallowance and 
just one, sinabi na rin ni former president. It was thoroughly discussed in the previous year. In fact, tinanggal na, tinanggal sa budget ng 2024, yung confidential fund. And we know that there's a pending case on that also. To discuss that further might uh, somehow prejudice or be biased whatsoever. So, yun lang po, Madam Chair. All right, salamat. Um, on your inquiry, the only requirement is to provide a direct response um, on the question, meaning to say a response that is directly related to the question. Meaning to say, kung may question at ayaw niyo pong sagutin, sagutin niyo ng derechahan na hindi po ako sasagot dun sa tanong. Ang problema po kasi, ang response ay naging hindi related dun sa tanong. Halimbawa, may tanong, ang sagot ay paglalarawan dun sa nagtanong. So hindi naman yon klaro na hindi yun um, directly related dun sa tanong. Kaya, yun po. I think it's a reasonable ask. If there's a question, you may or may not answer. You're not compelled. But you just please say, I do not wish to answer. That's it. And at least we know it's a direct response. And with that, we move to the next um, chair person on the list. Um, Madam Chair. This, uh, Madam Chair. Chair. Hindi na po tayo matatapos. Yan ang sinabi ko sa'yo kanina. Ayaw mo maniwala sa akin eh. Ah, but talaga tayo ng ah, bukas dito. Diba? Madam Chair. Is yes. this an inquiry regarding he said yes and yes, please I remind also yes, our first persons to please act in a respectful manner. Sensyo na po, um, hindi po kasama sa poder ninyo ang pagpa-fire ng presiding officer ng hearing na to. So, so, yes. Yes. so, so if you allow members of the House of Representatives lines like what you just said, like pusit, bakit mo ako kinocrucify for saying a fact that somebody is convicted of child abuse sitting in the chair. You sit and then I cannot fire there, the presiding chair. So, bakit? Yes, we... Bakit napaka one-sided nito? We have. Po. Dahil ba madami kayo dyan sa kapila at nag-iisa ako dito? We know all your comments, ma'am. And let us now proceed. Thank you, the ma ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Madam Chair, point of order. Yes, uh, the Honorable Benny Abante. I just came in and uh, I hear this. We're not talking about the budget. We're accusing each other here. I'd like to find out from the resource speaker uh, if this is the kind of hearing that we're going to have. Sir, I am not the presiding officer of this hearing. I know. Yes, sir. But the thing is, you're asking questions, Madam Chair. The resource so, so speaker does not have any right to ask question. What do you have? Where is that? Madam Vice In your rules that Madam a per person, person is a budget hearing request for the allegation. Some order, please. Some order, please. Yes, Honorable Benny Abanti may proceed. I'm just asking a question to our resource speaker. You know, because she's, she's asking a question and she's accusing some of the members of this committee. I just would like to find out if we are the ones that have the right to ask questions and it's her right is to answer the questions of the committee. Okay, so we have to ask a point of order, uh, Madam Chair. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Madam Vice President, am I right? No, sir. I'm going to ask the, no, so the Chair to ask you to clarify what are my accusations. Yeah, please wait to be recognized, ma'am. Pasensya na po. So again, I'd like to remind um, our resource persons that you are here, you're invited um, to answer, to present, and you've done that. Thank you very much. And at this point in time, you're here to respond to the questions of our members, and we request you to please respond in a direct way. So, with that... Uh